Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. In today's video, we will learn about configuring Lombok for Eclipse ID in Ubuntu. So let's get started. So I will be explaining two types of configuration in this video. First for the Eclipse that uh, some users uh, uh, already downloaded from the Eclipse website the the whole package and extracted it to, to a folder and are using. The second one is if you are using Eclipse after installing it using a snap. So let, let's see the first one first. First you will have to download the lombok.jar. So just go to this website project lombok.org and down, in downloads download the jar. Go to the directory where you have downloaded the lombok.jar and launch it. If it says for the executable permission, you just go to the permission and allow executing file as program and just launch it. If it can't find the IDE, just click OK and specify the location of your IDE. and click install update after installation check your eclipse directory if lombok.jar is present there and eclipse.ini is edited with java agent with the path to lombok.jar if installation is complete then just launch your eclipse ide if it doesn't work you just need to go to project and clean your project and now you can check user.getName is accessible the getter for this attribute if you have installed Eclipse using snap then the process we used in first method will not work because Lombok made changes to the eclipse.ini and copies lombok.jar in eclipse directory and you will be having permission issues in them. So we will have to create our eclipse.ini or copies it from snap eclipse current folder to the folder where we can modify it. Open Lombok jar and click on show me what this installer will do to my ID installation. Read the instructions given. We just need to focus on the second point that is you just need to edit eclipse.ini and inside it paste the line java agent colon path to lombok.jar. So go to your eclipse.ini, open it and at last add java agent and path to your lombok.jar. And save it. After eclipse.ini file changes, go to applications folder and look for the eclipse underscore eclipse dot desktop file. So edit this file. You need to change the name. Let's say eclipse with Lombok and this command line. So in this command line, you have to add the path of eclipse.ini, your custom eclipse.ini. So launcher.ini should be this. And 
and save it as a new file say eclipse lombok dot desktop and quit it and list again so you can see here are two files this is the previous one and this is new one and in your menu you will see that one eclipse launcher is also added that is eclipse with lombo you just need to start it so in this eclipse i also i am also using lombok so here you can see one attribute is defined and i have applied data annotation on it so if i see the outline you can see get name set name getter setter is generated and two string is also generated and hash code is generated so you can also use this in the main class so we are able to use this if we control click on it it will go to the lombok annotation thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel rex rahul mm -hmm.